Hi, I'm Kelly Smith and we're here today on the Aaron Calder Canal. This is a raw cliff wide section and I'm going to talk you a few tips about how to feed and what to feed on deep canals like this one. So when I'm fishing deep canals like the Aaron Calder, I like to use black roach. As you can see it's got a lot of particles in it, really sticky and it gets me bait to the bottom with nothing falling out. The amount I like to feed is five cups worth. Just so I know, every time I come here, I'm putting the same amount of bait in and it's a really good starting point. Two, three, four, five. So to them five cupfuls, I then like to add 250 ml of hemp, as well as 125 ml of pinkies. So wherever I sit, that is always a starting mix that I'd like to start with. You make a ball, and as you can see, it's got a lot of particles in there, pinkies, gets me baked straight to the bottom, and that's what the fish love to feed on. So when fishing deep canals like this, it's really important to keep a regular flow of bait going through the water. Today I'm just using hemp and pinkies and I'm using literally like 20 grains every time I lay my rigging or ship out after a fish and just make sure that you've got a constant flow of bait going through the water. On deep canals like this, it just makes sure that the fish home in on the bait and they see the constant flow going and it leads to more bites. When I'm fishing canals, my go-to bait is always single pinky. Depending on the size of the fish and what fish it is that you're catching, depends on what bait I'll use. Usually bring a small selection with me, which ranges from different coloured pinkies, maggots, and usually a bit of hemp as well. As I'm feeding hemp throughout the day, if there's any bigger roach that move in, I'll put a bit of hemp on. If there's any hybrids and skimmers, might try single or double maggot. Just keep changing baits and it'll just keep bites coming throughout the day. You never know what you're going to catch on canals like this. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching about how I tap deep canals like this. Hopefully with all the tips that you've been given, you'll be able to go out and get yourself a nice bag of fish like these here. <laughs>